For the last couple of hours, I have been breaking down all the builds from this year's LEGO Star Wars Advent Calendar of 2024 to see what models I can build using the parts. And every single model in this video is able to be built at the exact same time. So there are no extra parts needed. You don't even need the spare parts that come in the Advent Calendar. I've built a total of three vehicles two scenes and a few other builds. But the main ones will be available on Discord as soon as I'm finished editing this video. So be sure to become a member. I'll make them available to the lower tier, only 99p, and you can build all these alongside watching this video. But I'm very happy with how they've turned out and the parts in this advent calendar are the best the Lego have had in potentially any advent calendar. And if you do want to see the original builds and my review, of the advent calendar because every day does relate to a specific moment in lego star wars history every year since 1999 check out the full video i'll leave it linked at the end but let's get straight into the first build an improvement upon every single lego design of a clone walker or atrt or an at earth because any lego model you can see uses these technic bricks that are hinged so they can support their weight but they can't fully drop down to how low a clone walker does in the show for the clones to mount, dismount, and even some of the Jedi generals. So to improve upon this design, I have used pretty much all of the hinges from this advent calendar to create this ATRT that, if you can see, whilst it's on the desk, lowers fully to allow Leia, in this case, to get in and out and also works as a little micro fighter tank as well. But then you can raise it up to the level that an ATRT should stand at. It's more or less minifigure scale, but don't hold me to that. We have my minifigure scale ATRT here, and you can see that not only is it the same height, but I've actually built it to be two studs less wide than this model. This is the model I built using the 2020 501st battle pack and i think between the three of these this advent model is definitely my favorite on size alone though i do like the details in this 501st battle pack and although it can't hold two clones like this 2009 version i do want to bring it back for some other finer details like the fact we do have a control panel at the front here which is just built using one of those communication bars and a one by one tile with the clip element on top, which I haven't seen before in a Lego set. We also have these two antenna pieces on the back and enough room for any other luggage, though Leia seems to be holding her mug fine in the cockpit. There are also some details on the side of the leg, like all these pneumatic elements that you'll find on an ATRT, as well as a blue stud representing that middle knee joint. And I've tried to accurately resemble the feet to what we see in the show and personally i think this looks pretty good but an atrt really doesn't look great until we bring in the counterpart also found in that 2025 first battle pack the bark speeder and once again i'm going to bring back my bark speeder from that battle pack i have done a video of this and the atrt on the channel already however this custom one built using just pieces from the advent sizes up to it the biggest difference is the width. I've seen a lot of models recently reducing the width of a bark from two studs to one stud, and it does look a lot slimmer like it does appear in the Clone Wars show. So I actually really like it. The clone in the cockpit for this bark speeder isn't tiled down. There are these two black slopes which come from, I think it's Vader's castle in the advent calendar, and these handles are built to contain the 501st clone trooper that we get in the advent calendar and i think together these make a great pair of mocks to have built but this is only the start there is one more vehicle i have to show off before we move on to the scenes and that is this small but mighty endor speed up from return of the jedi we've got a soca pilot in it because luke is appearing later on but it looks tiny well if I was to grab my mini figure scale speeder, and this is the one used in my AT-80 currently, but I also have instructions for a recolored version in brown. It's again, the same size as this speeder. So not only are we building mocks from this advent calendar, we are also making sure they are mini figure scale. This is definitely the easiest to put together, but it's even got the detail like the tan bag on the back 
of the speeder. Not to mention that side profile does look really cool and will definitely pass for any little endor mocks you want to create. I've already mentioned Luke Skywalker, so it makes sense to bring him out next. We have this little Hoff scene that I've built of Luke upside down, which uses a few interesting techniques as well as a lot of snot bricks and plates and bricks in that snot profile to act as a snowy wall for the cave that Luke finds himself waking up in. We've also got his green lightsaber on the floor, which is ignited, which is probably best that there's no snow underneath. Otherwise, who knows, it could drop through to the center of Hoff and absolutely destroy the hidden rebel base. But I think this does look really, really cool as a display. And if you don't want to display your miniatures and perhaps you have a Hoff speeder or an ATST or even an AT-80 on your display, this would go amazing with your other Hoff Lego sets. One of my big complaints for the advent was a lack of sequel representation. And this minifigure specifically was in there to represent the Praetorians that Snoke has protecting him. So what I've done for this Praetorian is built a little Snoke throne room scene, which I think just looks really, really cute. It's nothing special, just a bunch of plates. And again, that's not brick. I get the angle to build the backboard of the chair, but I think it has fed my desire for sequel sets at least for the next year. Hopefully next year we can see some more sequel sets for the anniversary of Force Awakens, but I don't think LEGO are really gonna do anything this soon. Before I wrap up this video, I did also get a comment when the advent was initially revealed saying that Vader's castle looks like Baradur. I'll try and find it to put up on screen. So I've taken Vader's castle and built it into a Barad door micro and it's fairly simple again a lot of the techniques have been taken over from Vader's castle it looks like you could also fit a little interior on the inside as well but definitely not built using lego bricks you've got the rocky terrain at the front it goes into the point and you've got this one by one acting as an eye and with that comment in mind I couldn't not turn it into Barad Dur. On top of this, we get so many extra pieces like these round plates to create this Mickey Mouse shaped base plate for the Droidica so he can stand holding his custom yellow lightsaber. I know the yellow blade is a piece that exists, but we still haven't seen it in Star Wars. Hopefully when we get sets around Ray's new movie, we can get that element with a lightsaber hilt, but we get so many other spare elements and pieces. And this is again, on top of all of the extra pieces you saw me holding in the review. There are so, so many. So hopefully I have inspired you to be creative with your advent calendar, not be satisfied with the micro builds we've got and to make some designs of your own. But thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. Be sure to check out that review if you haven't already and may the bricks be with you always.